Hi, my name is Joe, and as part of my fourth year uh, module in instructional design, I have made a screencast on how to use a Mac. So, this is just a brief slideshow to introduce you into uh, how that'll run. So, why use a Mac? Uh, well, Apple, as a company, are growing, they're taking more of the market, so you will probably have to use a Mac in the future. That's just inevitable. Uh, so, it, it's also good for increased computer literacy, which is good for the CV. Uh, and I don't think any of you will be complaining there. So yeah, it's just a positive experience and I'm a bit of a nerd so I think you'll actually find it fun to use. Um, you'll see that as we go through the demonstrations as well. It's actually a nice uh, operating system. So why not? Well obviously people are afraid of new things, that's a fairly standard comment and uh, people like to put all their eggs in one basket. They think, well I know how to use Windows, why would I learn how to use Mac? Well, there's lots of things that Macs are very good at uh, that are design related and there's also, I don't know, just a nice idea of being able to use something that other people can't use. Um, just as on its own, uh, Mac confuses people at first impression and uh, it doesn't look very user friendly. But really that's not true and it's just as easy to use as Windows. And so what I'm saying here is that these can all be easily managed and there's no real reason not to learn how to use a Mac. Because really it's all hype. So this, these two characters are from Apple's uh, very good advertising campaigns. And uh, they're trying to paint out that Windows is very different from uh, the Mac computers. And that's simply not true. Uh, they're both essentially uh, doing the same thing now. And uh, you'll see that as we go through the um, demonstrations. So that's how the first lesson will run. Um, We'll compare the operating systems just to show the similarities and we'll walk through OS X, uh, which is the current um, operating system for Mac. Uh, we then we'll compare the, the file managing system, which is Explorer, to uh, Mac's file managing system, which is Finder. So the second lesson then will be more practical things like browsing the internet, opening a program like Word and saving a file and moving it onto a USB key. So to begin then uh, just to state that you should really uh, try and practice with a Mac after these lessons are done uh, just to help you internalize the information. Uh, concentrate as we go through because it'll be a little bit fast paced but you can keep up and of course if you can't just uh, rewind and go over a point again but it's largely monkey see monkey do so uh, Nothing too complicated and you should be okay. So uh, optionally you can take notes and I would recommend it and uh, yeah for the lesson two printed sheets of documents showing Mac controls just to go over some basics. So let's go. Now to look at our first image just simply double click and this is a very familiar site uh, just simply a Windows uh, operating system showing the start menu and so you can see here and the bottom left of the image that uh, this is the start button and the bottom right of the image we have our times and just basically a few core functions such as network, uh, sound and so if we look at the Mac we can actually see those on, th on the top bar and this is simply the menu bar so we can see the times up on the top right few notifications for network and sound and then on the top left we can see the Apple icon just here the very top left and so covers the same functions as Windows just running through how to shut down a few system preferences how to control programs and a few controls on the machine itself so it's looking fairly similar already you just X out of that also we can see here when you're running a program in Windows we have a pretty easy idea that up top uh, we have a menu bar for the program and so what Mac has done is they have included this so preview is the image viewing program and so we can see here it's actually built into the screen rather than onto the application so for Windows we would expect to see the controls here but in Mac the controls are always on the top of the screen so it's a little bit of a good standard so that you're never lost 
So here we see view all of the drop down box showing all of the options and so we see the very same format here. So it's very similar. So uh, just moving on to a, the shot of Explorer now. So everyone's used to their Windows computer showing them uh, just here on the left you have uh, all of the locations within your computer, your desktop, uh, different um, drives and different folders and then on the right you have the information within these uh, folders and locations so here we see the USB drive and the information on it so it's a fairly okay standard just uh, on the left you have your locations and the right you have your uh, information so in the very same way if we go down to max uh, information uh, explorer it's called finder and so we see that up here and so the way uh, Mac lays it out is just you have actual places um, which are desktop applications and um, if we just go into documents we can see there uh, here we have information just the same as Windows so we can go into files and just the same as Windows you can see we can go back and forward uh, as it remembers its history just the same as Windows does so that's the use in Finder. Um, some little uh, hints, maybe bring up Finder there again. Uh, you can search for anything uh, just by clicking into locations and scrolling around. Uh, these are all applications. But uh, an easy way to just click in, same as uh, in modern versions of Windows, you can just search for information and applications just the same as using search in Windows just up in the top right it's a very simple search function and that's using Finder so there are always the same applications coming across from Windows to Macintosh and what we need to remember is that they're all carrying out the same functions and so they're not really that different so uh, that ends lesson one and uh, go get a break and we'll see you for lesson two.